welcome dear students in this video we will discuss about limit test of arsenic so at the end of this session you will be able to explain the principle involved in limit test of arsenic you will be able to recall the various chemical reactions involved in this limit test you will able to describe the procedure and apparatus used for the limit test for arsenic and most importantly you will able to interpret the results via using the virtual lab so what is actual meaning of limit test dear students limit test is quantitative or semi quantitative test which are used to detect to identify and control a very small amount of impurities that may be present in the pharmaceutical substances so why test for arsenic arsenic is a highly toxic and produce the poisonous effect in our body if it is present in very small amount that is stress amount in the pharmaceuticals that is drugs it will responsible for significant health risk because of its toxic in nature so our official books like indian pharmacopeia british pharmacopeia or usp has set very strict limits that is about 2 to 5 ppm that is parts per millennium to keep the patient safe so if we perform the limit test for arsenic and if you found the arsenic is present as a impurity in a pharmaceuticals more than this limit set by the pharmacopeia that pharmaceutical is not safe for the patients so limit test is performed to detect the harmful amount of impurity present in pharmaceuticals or not so let's start with the discussion on the limit test for arsenic this limit test is based upon the goodzet test the fundamental principle behind the limit test for arsenic is it will convert all the arsenic impurities into the arsine gas which then react with the mercury chloride paper and then it will produce a yellow or brown color stain on the mercury chloride paper so conversion of arsenic impurity into the arsine gas and then reaction to the mercury chloride is taken place in various steps step number 1 that is sample preparation we have to dissolve all the sample in acid so if the sample contain arsenic as a impurity this may be exist as in a pentavalent form that is as5 plus or trivalent form or as3 plus and when it dissolve in the acid it will converts to the arsenic acid that is pentavalent and arsenious acid that is trivalent so this is the reaction if the trivalent arsenic is present in your sample then it will convert it to the arsenious acid if the arsenic present in a pentavalent form it will form a arsenic acid so if contain both then it will form the arsenious acid as well as arsenic acid depending on the valence state so remember if the arsenic acid present in the trivalent form it will form arsenious acid if the arsenic present in pentavalent form then it will form arsenic acid and if it is present in the both uh, form then it will form the both acids that's why in step number 2 we have to add the stannated hydrochloric acid which contain the stannous chloride stannous chloride is act as the reducing agents which will responsible for reduction of pentavalent arsenic acid to the trivalent arsenious acid so by the addition of stannous chloride it will ensures that all the arsenic is present in our drug it will get converted to the arsenious acid irrespective of their valence state so if your sample contain arsenic is in pentavalent form it will form the arsenic acid and with the help of this stannous chloride this arsenious acid is converted to trivalent arsenious acid so this is the reaction of reduction so all arsenic is now converted to arsenious acid that is trivalent form then step number 3 formation of arsine gas so we have to add zinc and hydrochloric acid so that it will form nascent hydrogen and that nascent hydrogen is going to react with trivalent arsenious acid it will form arsine gas 
So all impurity present in your sample now converted to the arsine gas. So this is the arsine gas is produced when it react with the nascent hydrogen. Now which gas is produced that is arsine gas is produced. Then it is carried up through the gusset apparatus to the tube and within the tubes we have added or attached the mercury chloride paper. When the arsine gas are in contact with mercury chloride paper the reaction occurs and it will form a mercuric arsenide. This is the mercuric arsenide which will form by the reaction of arsine gas and mercury chloride and it will form mercuric arsenide. So formation of mercuric arsenide will produce the yellow or brown color stain on mercury chloride paper. So intensity of the yellow stain produced on mercury chloride is directly proportional to the amount of arsenic. The intensity or the depth of yellow color produced on mercury chloride paper is directly proportional to the amount of arsenic. If arsenic is more, the more darker yellow color will be produced. If arsenic is less, then the less intense yellow color is produced on mercury chloride paper. So yellow color stain is produced of taste is compared with then with standard stain that is the within the limit given in the pharmacopoeia. Let us take an example suppose the sample stain produced is lighter than that of standard it means that arsenic present in the sample that is drug containing less as compared to standards that is it is within the limit that is it is safe for the public use that is why we call it as the sample passes the limit test. If suppose the sample stain is more than that of standard or more intense than that of standard means within the test sample if it is produced the yellow color stain which is the more intense than that of standard it indicates that arsenic present is more as compared to standards. So it is beyond the limit. So that time we called it as that particular sample does not pass the limit test as it contain more amount of arsenic given in IP or BP or USP within the sample. That time that drug that pharmaceutical is not suitable for the pharmaceutical purpose. So we called it as sample does not pass the limit test. Let us discuss about which, which reagents are used and what is their roles. So we have placed the lead acetate wool within the good Z test tube. It will help to interfere with the H2S gas and it will prevent the blackening. We have added either stannous chloride or potassium iodide which is responsible for reduction of pentavalent arsenic to trivalent arsenic. We have used the mixture of zinc and HCl which is essential for the formation of nascent hydrogen because when the reaction between the arsine gas and the nascent hydrogen it will responsible for the formation of arsine gas. Okay. So in exam they may ask the question for the 5 marks explain the principle and reaction involved in the limit test for arsenic and draw the diagram of apparatus used. So how we are going to solve these questions? Let us check this marking scheme. You have to write down the stepwise principle and reaction for the 3 marks. So for the principle 1.5 marks and for the reaction 1.5 marks. Then you have to draw well labeled diagram of good Z apparatus with all necessary components along with the proper label such as mercury chloride paper, lead acetate cotton plug, glass tube, test or standard solution etc for 1 marks. So if you want to get the more marks you have to write the principle stepwise for 1.5 marks then you have to write down the correct reactions and draw a wheat label, label, label diagram for 2 marks. So this is the diagram. We have to mention the label as shown in figure isn't it? And most importantly this opening of the tube should not be dipped into the solution 
as the opening of tube is required to be above the solution so the gas can pass easily and it will going to react it with the mercury chloride paper and before that we have added the lead acetate cotton plug so the suppose in reaction h2s gas get produced that h2s gas are trapped by the lead acetate cotton plug so it will avoid to the blackening of this mercury chloride paper that's why we need to add the lead acetate cotton plug okay so i have created the virtual lab for this uh, limit test for arsenic the link is available within the comment section or in the description you can uh, click on that link and have a look of the virtual lab of arsenic limit test and you can perform it on your mobile device also so this is the interface which i have created we have to just open it and then you have to click on start simulation it will take you on to the next steps in this section the principal and the key steps in the reaction is given properly along with the chemical reaction so read it and then you have to press continue to procedure here procedure for standard and the test solution is given read it very properly once you read it then you have to click on continue to simulation so this is the actual virtual lab here you have to perform the practical on your mobile step by step so step number 1 you have to add the solutions into the standard and test solution so just tap on the add test and standard solution step number 2 you have to add the stannated hydrochloric acid so just click on the button your acid get added then add the zinc granules and then close and observe the reaction see here arsen gas get produced it will reacted with mercury chloride paper and it will produce the color now we have to compare the color produced on mercury chloride paper so just click on analyze opacity so it will give you the intensity of the color and then you have to select the observation depending on what you have observed so here the test stain is less intense than the standard and then you have to click on submit the reports so we will get the report and result also then you have to click on proceed to assessment so that you will able to apply the knowledge so you have to select the correct answer of all five questions and then you have to click on submit the answer button it will show you whether your answer is correct or wrong along with the correct answer and the explanation why that particular is option is correct so it will give you a maximum opportunity to do the limit test then you have to click on restart the simulation so simulation is again get started so dear students this virtual lab helps you to master the limit test for arsenic from principal to the interpretation so link is available in the description box you have to take a experience of this pharmacy in lab Uh, which is useful for the performing the limit test for arsenic limit test for chloride sulfate iron and heavy metals take a benefit of this so thank you very much for the watching this video so dear students don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel and press the bell icon for more pharmacy related videos once again thank you very much